What is Eroa? The Eroa protocols embed specific chemical characteristics into a mass spectral data stream so that they may be used to track, quantify, or qualify information. These data are in the form of mathematically definable isotopic patterns based on the universal and random distribution of C13 isotopes in a molecule. This information, once inserted into the mass spectral data stream, is used to acquire significantly higher quality data with reduced error and with the lowest possible experimental variance. This is especially true when the Aroa peak is presented at a constant concentration or as an internal standard. How to understand Aroa? If there was no C13 in this corner of the universe, then the molecule arginine would be seen in the mass spec as monoisotopic peak, which would be seen at 175.1190 AMU. However, in the real world, the natural abundance of C13 is about 1.1%, and so there is an additional peak which represents that portion of arginine molecules which have a single C13 in any of arginine's six carbon positions. This peak is about 6% of the height of the base peak and thus is quite small and is generally regarded as useless. However, this M plus 1 peak will always be found exactly 1.00335 AMU, that is the mass of a neutron, away from the C12 monoisotopic peak. Now let's consider a world in which the natural abundance of C13 is 5%. What would these peaks look like? Shown here in green, the monoisotopic peak is still present, and the M plus 1 is in the same place, but is now much higher. Specifically, the height of the M plus 1 peak is approximated by 5% times the number of carbons in the molecule. Thus, for a 6-carbon molecule such as arginine, its height will be 31% of the height of the monoisotopic peak. There are three significant consequences of this. One, the height of the M plus 1 is a step function in that a 7-carbon molecule will be 36%, an 8-carbon 41, a 9-carbon 46, etc., there are no half carbons. Thus, the relative height of the M and the M plus 1 is a step function that yields the number of carbons in the molecule underlying the peak. Two, if we know the C12 monoisotopic mass and the number of carbons in a molecule, the molecular formula of a molecule is almost always uniquely found. Hence, we always know the formula for any Eroa peak collection based on the collection shape. Three, it is very easy to distinguish artifacts and noise peaks from Eroa peaks and remove them from consideration. This removes false data in the data set and yields significantly better quality. The math that defines the 5% C13 peak shape is a simple binomial equation. It is therefore not surprising that the peak shape of a 95% C13 collection of peaks is calculated the same way. Shown here in blue, the 95% collection of peaks is the mirror image of the 5% collection of peaks. The C13 monoisotopic is now the heaviest at 181.1396. And rather than having an M plus 1, it shows an M minus 1 because the C13 monoisotopic peak can only be diluted by a C12, which has one less neutron. As a perfect mirror image, the height of the M minus 1 is also an absolute diagnostic for the number of carbons in the molecule. And therefore, the formula for the underlying diet molecule is again always a unique solution. And again, these peaks are easily distinguished from noise and artifacts. If we were to create a sample that was a mixture of both the 
5% C13 and 95% C13 forms of each molecule, then we would end up with a mixture that has some very unique properties. Specifically, the number of carbons in the molecule is now proven unambiguously when the mass difference between the two monoisotopic peaks, the height of the C12 M plus 1 and the height of the C13 minus 1 all define the same number of carbons. This collection of Eroa peaks comprises a triply redundant information system. Error in such a system is almost impossible. Because of the mathematical precision involved, these types of peaks are very easy to find and verify computationally. Therefore, a completely automated process may be used to find and present them to the user. The noise and artifact peaks are also easily distinguished and removed from the data set so that the quality of the data set is very much improved. No false data assures no false results. Following all the previous considerations, we get very used to seeing these sorts of peak systems. By the nature of their production, we can be assured that all of them are of biological origin, thus assuring that all of the data considered from them is relevant biologically. Since false data can be statistically noisy at best, or at worst, statistically significant by chance, it's to be assured that there is no false data, but only real data improves the outcomes remarkably. We have written and provide to all AROA users the Cluster Finder software that finds, processes, and supports the experimenter throughout the data extraction processes. Our tutorial videos are available, and you should see them at your leisure. The Aroa peaks discussed here can be used in many different ways. The two most common Aroa protocols are shown here. The basic Aroa protocol is based on triply redundant data, hence it may be used to produce data of extremely high quality. When this protocol is used in an experimental design, the data produced is exceptionally clean and clear. There can be no false data, noise, or artifacts all compounds may be confidently identified to formula and with retention libraries to specific compounds. If a secondary identification mode such as fragmentation or ion mobility is applied to the Aroa peaks, their identity will be completely verified by the Aroa characteristic seen in the fragmentation or ion mobility scans, making them ideal standards. The Cluster Finder software provides a completely automated, unbiased analysis and will produce a data set that is suppression corrected and normalized. There are several variations on this protocol. The next protocol the phenotypic AROA protocol is useful when the C12 side cannot be isotopically labeled. For example, human plasma, biopsies, field-grown plants. In such situations, a complex isotopically labeled AROA internal standard may be generated and used instead. In this case, such a standard is informatically redundant not triply redundant, but it is redundant. And the data quality benefits tremendously because of this. Since the chemical complexity of the AROA internal standard may represent several hundred compounds, this protocol proceeds as a targeted search for, of these several hundred compounds. The Cluster Finder software provides a completely automated, unbiased analysis and thus can produce a data set that is suppression corrected and normalized. Despite running as a targeted analysis, the unbiased qualities and any additional peaks in the sample may be quantitated, normalized, along with the targeted compounds. 
the basic AROA and phenotypic AROA protocols together make up the AROA TrueQuant IQQ workflow. The TrueQuant workflow provides complete QAQC on instrument performance, verified compound identification, source and suppression correction, dual mustus normalization. We urge you to see the video on the TrueQuant workflow that will follow in a minute. We would be very happy to take any questions.